In this question, it talks about a new compound that has potent inhibitory effects on the replication of HIV. The drug's mechanism of action shows no effect on viral binding to cellular receptors, viral entry into cells, reverse transcription or integration of proviral DNA into cellular host chromosomes. However, the drug prevents post-translational processing of polyprotein products into core proteins. Based on these properties, the new drug's mechanism of action to be likely most similar to which of the following? And we have choice A, B, C, D, and E. Now, before we go into the choices, let's talk about really quickly what are the different um, HIV drugs that we know about. So first of all, we have the reverse, trans reverse transcriptase inhibitors, okay? And they can be nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors and non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, okay? Then there is um, integrase inhibitors. Integrase inhibitors is the second um, option. Option number three, there is protease inhibitors. Okay. So these are the kind of four different uh, drugs that we think about whenever we are talking about HIV drugs. So how do they work? How do the uh, nucleoside or non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors really work? Pretty much they inhibit reverse transcriptase, but they do it a little differently. Whenever we're talking about uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, in our TIs, what nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors does is that it will competitively inhibit, it will competitively inhibit reverse transcriptase. Not only that, the NRTIs need to be phosphorylated by the thymidine kinase. Okay, this needs to be phosphorylated by thymidine kinase. Now, what about NNRTIs, or non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors? They work a little differently. First of all, they don't bind to the same binding site as NRTIs. It's a different binding site. And this is non-competitive binding. Okay? And this also doesn't need any phosphorylation by any thymidine kinase for it to be active. So that is uh, the function of NRTIs and NNRTIs. What about integrase inhibitors. Integrase allows um, the integrase allows the HIV genome to get incorporated into the genome of the back of the cell. So if this is the um, this is the genome of the cell, integrase will allow the HIV to become part of it through the enzyme integrase. So whenever we're giving integrase inhibitors, we're actually stopping this process of integration of the HIV genome. As a result, what happens? Um, the HIV genome does not get replicated when the cell is replicating its own DNA. Okay, so that, those are my integrase inhibitors. And then we have our protease inhibitors. Now protease inhibitors um, is derived from the gene called the pole gene. And the function of protease inhibitors is that it will cleave the viral protein into smaller sections, making them mature. So this will package into smaller sections, making them mature. So this maturation, maturation step is achieved by protease. And this protease is inhibited by our protease inhibitors. Okay. So those are uh, a quick review of all the HIV drugs that we have. By the way, when we're talking about HIV drugs, and whenever we're talking about these different types, let's uh, familiarize ourselves with the different names. So whenever uh, we're talking about protease inhibitors, we're talking about um, anything that ends with Navir. Okay? So let's say Lopinavir or Sequinavir. These are examples of protease inhibitors. Whenever we're talking about, um, whenever we're talking about uh, this one, what is this? Oh, this is reverse transcriptase. 
Uh, whenever we're talking about NRTIs, we are talking about zidovirin, didanosin, and etc. Whenever we're talking about NNRTIs, we are talking about um, the DENs, adelavirin, efavirenz, nevirapine. Okay, those are the ones we're talking about. And then, so we have done this one, we have done the last one, the purease inhibitors. What about integrase inhibitors? Uh, there is only one drug in, um, among the integrase inhibitors, and that's uh, raltegravir. Raltegravir, okay? So anyways, now that we have a quick understanding of the different types of HIV inhibitors, let's talk about the question. Now, the question says that... The drug's mechanism of action, no effect on viral binding to cellular receptors, viral entry into cells. Those, um, those are, not, those are the, not the mechanisms we really use in HIV drugs. Entry into the cells, those are amantadine, uh, you know, those kind of cells, but they are not use, used for HIV. Anyways, reverse transcriptase or integration. So the question is pretty much saying that this is, the drug is not right shows no effect so here is the main thing shows no effect um, on uh, reverse transcription or integration so we can rule out reverse transcriptase we can rule out integrase we are really left with uh, protease inhibitors okay however the drug prevents post translational processing of polyprotein products into core proteins yes because it's inhibiting the maturation by um, not allowing the protease to cut the big big chunk of protein into uh, different smaller uh, proteins because that's the whole point of the protease which is part of the maturation so this is not allowing the cell to uh, do its post translational processing of polyprotein poly, polyprotein products into core proteins based on this pro properties this drugs mechanism of action to be likely most similar to that of which of the following so it's going to be um, protease inhibitors so it's going to be uh, a navir indinavir so that would be the correct answer in this particular question